All right, this is one of those stories that sounds boring at first, but it actually decides which Android phones will be kings next year and which ones will quietly fall behind. Let's talk about Qualcomm, money, and why phone makers are still lining up even when prices are going crazy. So here's the big moment we're heading into. Later this year, Qualcomm, Apple, and MediaTek are all doing something huge for the first time ever. They're all launching 2NM chips made by TSMC. That's the most advanced chip tech on the planet right now. Smaller number means more power, better battery life, cooler performance. This is next level stuff. For Qualcomm, this new generation is expected to be called Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 Pro. Yes, two versions, and this is where things get interesting. The Gen 6 Pro is basically the no limits chip, the best Qualcomm can make. Leaks say it could have a faster GPU, better gaming, better graphics, support for LPDDR6 RAM, new faster memory, support for UFS 5.0 storage, faster app loading, faster file speeds. Basically, this chip is built for phones that want to say, this is the best Android phone money can buy. But here's the problem. This chip is expensive, like very expensive. For some context, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is already estimated to cost around $280 per chip. That's just the processor, not the screen, not the camera, not the battery, just the chip. Now think about Gen 6 Pro. New process, new features, new memory tech. It's very likely going to cost over $300 per unit. And yet, here's the shocking part. According to new rumors, the top five Android phone makers are not backing out. They're still going all in on the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 Pro, even with that price. A tipster on Weibo, Repeater002, says that when you look at the phones being developed right now, the most premium flagships from the top five brands are still using this chip. And another leaker, Smart Chip Insider, backs this up. Qualcomm is reportedly planning two chip launches on purpose, the Pro version for ultra-premium phones, the standard version for most flagships. So basically, if a phone wants to be the Ultra, the Pro Max, the Ultimate, it's getting the Gen 6 Pro. But if it's a regular flagship, it'll probably get the normal Gen 6. Now, let's be real for a second. Not every phone company can afford this, and it's not just because of Qualcomm. There's another big problem hitting the entire industry right now. Memory prices are exploding. Reports say RAM prices are up 70%, NAND storage prices are up 100%. That's insane. So imagine you're a phone maker. You're already paying more for the chip, more for RAM, more for storage. At some point, you have to ask, how much will this phone even cost? And this is where the split happens. The top five Android brands, the biggest players, they can absorb the cost. They can charge more, they can market it as premium. But smaller brands, they're in trouble. And this is why the rumor says something very important. Some Android phone makers may completely abandon Qualcomm. Not because Qualcomm is bad, but because Qualcomm is expensive. Instead, they're expected to switch to MediaTek, specifically the upcoming Dimensity 9600. Now, MediaTek is playing a very smart game. Unlike Qualcomm, MediaTek usually doesn't do this pro and non-pro split. They focus on one strong chip, lower price, big volume. And historically, MediaTek chips are cheaper than Snapdragon. So for brands that can't afford a $300 chip, MediaTek becomes the easy choice. Will the Dimensity 9600 be as powerful as the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 Pro? Probably not. Leaks already suggest that Snapdragon still wins in raw performance. Snapdragon is better in efficiency. Snapdragon GPUs are still stronger. We saw this before with Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 versus Dimensity 9500. Snapdragon pulled ahead. But here's the thing. Most users won't notice that difference. What they will notice is lower phone prices, similar battery life, and smooth everyday performance. So MediaTek phones will still sell. A lot. 
What we're seeing right now is a clear divide in Android. On one side, super expensive, super powerful, Snapdragon-powered Elite phones. On the other, more affordable, still fast enough, MediaTek-powered flagships. And Qualcomm seems completely okay with this. They're not chasing volume anymore. They're chasing the top. They want to own the fastest Android phone, the best gaming phone, the most powerful AI phone, even if fewer companies can afford it. And honestly, that strategy is working. Because despite all the complaints, despite the price hikes, despite the memory crisis, the biggest Android brands are still saying, yeah, we'll take the Gen 6 Pro. That tells you everything. So the real question for us as users is this. Are we ready to pay more for Android flagships, or are we okay choosing a slightly weaker chip to save money? Because next year, that choice is going to be very obvious and very expensive.